Dr. Boros, you have risen above everything, and now it looks like you are going back home to 3401 Northside Drive. What are your plans from here on out? Well, I am very happy to go back. Um, I'm kind of got a little huge statement I'm saying now, um, out with the U and back with the B. <laughs> All right. Um, I love I'm, it. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's been quite a challenge, and I, uh, I'm very happy that I'm going to be able to express myself as me and get back into a lot of the projects and development that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I've been handcuffed. And actually, for many of my patients who haven't really been able to find out or hear much about it, I really kind of had a gag order on by my attorney team. Um, and fortunately, we were able to settle it without having to go into the courtroom, but uh, it's been quite an ordeal. Seven months, and all I can say is over again, thank you, thank you, thank you to my patients, to the community, and everybody who really knows me, because it was kind of like David and Goliath, and I'm just thrilled and in the deepest parts of my heart you know, that everybody just stuck with me and mm -hmm. said, we're not going anywhere. Wherever you go, we go. Right. And so I've been able to stay a little bit ahead of the dog catcher. Good. I'm going back to 3401 mm -hmm. uh, on February 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a bunch of announcements coming out. We're going to have a little get together to meet and greet my lady cardiologist, Dr. Joan Homan. Mm -hmm. She's coming to join me. She'll be starting up on uh, February 11th. Their dream, they're from Pennsylvania, uh, their dream, she and her husband, is to live in Key West. Aww. And so her dream so is coming true. Her dream is <laughs> coming true. It was a great find. She's been very patient for a year and a half with all this nonsense. And uh, she, they are both so excited, and they are going to be permanent, permanent Key West people. They, right. They'll carry the baton from here. Um, I'm in the process of recruiting a Spanish-speaking cardiologist, and I also have Dr. Joseph Toussaint, who's a Cornell graduate in cardiovascular medicine, certified in echo nuclear. Uh, he is going to be joining us as well. So uh, at this particular point, it seems like, wow, that's like a lot. But I also, Jenna, have to tell you that when all this was happening, um, even before it was happening, I was approached by Fisherman's Hospital, as particularly wonderful people like Mike Cunningham, who's the chief of the board, and a number of patients of mine I have 20% of my practice comes from Marathon down. And they approached me to help them get their cardiovascular program off the ground. They had essentially nothing, very limited services. And so uh, Dr. Berger and I spoke with uh, the administrator there. He's a, a hired, he's a quorum employee, but he's a wonderful guy. And hopefully he sees this, because Hal Leftwich, with his intuitiveness, his creativity, his understanding the dynamics, wanting to build a program along with the board of directors and the doctor friends uh, and nurses that I know up there and my patients. We launched a program in September to provide cardiology services. Dr. Berger comes down from Miami on Tuesday to Fisherman's mm -hmm. and on Thursday I go up to Fisherman's. Dr. Berger comes here mm -hmm. because many of the patients, thousands of patients from here over the years, thousands have gone up to Dr. Berger to provide the supervisory care up in Miami. So mm -hmm. we always maintained a, a liaison and a linkage. So we communicate two, three times a day to talk about patient care. Um, it's bad when a patient goes somewhere and I never hear from the doctors, another hospital, how's my patient doing, what's going on, what's your input, blah, blah, blah. Berger and I have always communicated and that only provides a better outcome for the patient because I know them really well. Mm -hmm. People up in Miami get them for a postage stamp period of time. Okay, so we're always communicating. People can call Berger, or they, if they can't find him, they call me down here. Mm -hmm. I'm having an issue, a problem, whether it's social, medical, the families. It's been an amazing, amazing practice that uh, we've been able to create. So I want to thank Fisherman's Hospital, and then we're now going to have seven day a week coverage in Fisherman's right. Hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, and and many of my patients now, I started seeing them when they were let's say 60, they're 80, 85. They can't make the trip, they can't drive, and so it's been an exciting additional project now to help Fisherman's Hospital rise off the carpet, off mm -hmm. the canvas, and and watch this incredible, incredible cardiovascular program be built. Mm -hmm. It is like a mushroom cloud. It is uh, just, it's unbelievably terrific work. Um, the people at the hospital and the administration, I, I thank them again 
uh, for having some vision and, and a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Down here, I'm going to get everything back up. It's going to be bigger and better than Great. before. And just keep, uh, like I said, keep your seatbelt fastened. The Pizza Hut building, I have uh, plans to do something very big for the community also to help them have choice at the right price and be able to get very, very high quality care and not be strapped with nowhere to go mm -hmm. but one place. Well, you will do just that. You have great plans ahead, Dr. Boros. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, you've been serving the community for 28 years. You have saved so many countless lives, and that number will continue to rise over the years. Thank you for being on with me Jenna, this morning. Jenna, you're a great hostess. Thank you very, very much. Well, you were you great. really did a terrific job of allowing me to talk all the time. <laughs> no, it was great. Yeah. It's good to let everybody know what you're doing and yeah. that you are back. You're here to stay, and you'll get to the heart of any problem, won't you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I, my other ad was um, if, you, uh, if you have chest pain, uh, if you think or even if you think or think you have chest pain, call me. Call him. So there you go. let me just say as a final thing, um, I'd like to know if people correspond with you because if there is a good response, I would like to use this as my vehicle to keep people apprised of a lot of things that we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And also you asked me to talk about particular topics about heart disease. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to be able to be here and give, the, give a lot of input so people can stay healthy. Great. Well, we will do just that. Great. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and joining me. Join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay.